Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have a super fun video for you guys today. This is a follow up to my lucky bag unboxing by Beautylish. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so um, quick shout out a couple of things before I get started. First thing I want to shout out Today's casual uh, day at work, so I got a chance to wear these amazing shoes that I talked about in my Aldi video. I will link these, um, or I'll link that video right here if you didn't see that, but these shoes, oh my gosh, I am wearing them. Um, but these are so fun, they're so comfortable, they're so fantastic. Those were a great find, and I think they do come back fairly periodically, so love those. The other thing I wanna mention is my eyeshadow look today. Um, so I love playing with multi-chromes, but here's what I do not like about multi-chromes. Um, so this is a, a pink to green shift and it's a pretty vibrant uh, shift by Adept Cosmetics. You can see it on the finger like instantly crazy. And so I thought if I surround it by green pigments, the green will really pull through. Um, but, and it does, it does when I like turn this way, but head on, I didn't realize that the pink would be so obvious. Um, pink is not fair. Maybe it's a bit more. No, it's definitely pink. I was going to say a bit more red, but it's definitely pink. But that's why it seems just a little bit, um, maybe not as cohesive. That's the reason. I still think it's cute. I don't mind it. It's just not what I pictured in my head. Yeah, my lucky box or my lucky bag by Beautylish, I opened and I wasn't super stoked with everything that I got. Not because there was anything that was bad. I didn't get anything that was bad, but I just felt like they weren't the perfect products for me. So I traded out in a trade group um, that I found online. There's several Reddit, Facebook, they're all over the place, but I traded everything every single thing I traded. And I love everything that I have now. Like I love everything that I have now. So I wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to get some ideas. Um, all right, so these are three different traders that I traded with, three different traders. <laughs> um, but the first thing that I did want to mention is that they sent me a few extras. Like I just can't believe how nice people are and how awesome people are. So. I'll save that one for a second. But the first thing is one of them sent me the cutest little Ipsy bag. It's so cute and soft. I love this pink. Honestly, this is kind of perfect to throw in a handbag. I love the quilted pattern. Um, I, I love this. Like this is real cute. To just like keep your lip glosses and stuff in your handbag. Really excited about that. And then I got a whole bunch of samples, which was so fun. So I've got a, uh, what is this? Sephora Big Mascara Sample. Never tried that. By the way, that background roar, I hope it goes away soon. Uh, it's my heating and air. I don't know what's going on. We were supposed to have someone come and do maintenance, but can't get anybody out right now. All right, so then we have um, a Soap and Glory Body Cream, or I think it's Body Butter, yeah. Sample of that, and this is full. So really excited about that, never tried that. A Bobbi Brown Face Base, which, I have gone through a whole journey with that, but I'll definitely use that. I love it. A Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation. I don't think I've ever tried this. I don't think so. I've tried the concealer. I used it for years, um, but I don't think that I actually did a review on it recently. Um, but the foundation, yeah, I don't think I've ever tried that. And then the Laura Mercier uh, Pure Canvas Primer, which I also have never tried. So samples, how cool is that? Um, all right, so the first thing that I want to talk about, I didn't actually ask for this. This was just a bonus that um, one of the traders threw in, but it does carry a $5 value, so I'm going to mention it, and that's the Dr. Botanicals Turmeric Mask. Um, now, I'm not the biggest fan of masks just because I'm impatient, but I am curious about the turmeric. Uh, so I am going to try this out, and I will let you guys know because if it's I, it says leave on for... 20 minutes, that's probably not gonna happen, but I may be able to go for 10 or something. So I'm, it, like I said, it carries a $5 value, so I wanted to mention it, so that's super cool. All right, now let's get into the things that I did specifically uh, request. So I got the Good Molecules toner, the glycolic toner in my last box, and I mentioned that that toner is a bit too strong for me and where I am now in my skin, but I've been dying to try the Good Molecules SPF. So I did go ahead and trade for that. Uh, this retails for $12, and yeah, this is a fairly new SPF that came out, so I will let you guys know. I've done a whole whole slew of SPFs on my channel. I'm looking for the Holy Grail, so I cannot wait to try that. All right, and the next pro product that I traded for was the Aribe Invisible Defense um, heat protectant, universal protectant spray. So this protects up to 450 degrees. Couple of things, this retails for $44, first of all. Second of all, I do use a heat protectant spray every time I blow dry my hair. 
Um, third of all, I just, you know, I've only used a few Aribe products, but every time that I do, the packaging just blows me away. It always has this really, really beautiful engraved cap, um, but this is $44. This is the 5.7 ounce one, I think. Yeah, 5.9 ounces. So you get a decent amount of product. So I was stoked to get that. Again, retails for $44. All right, so I did get um, a couple of Wayne Goss products in my bag. I got a lipstick and a lip liner, and I did want to actually try those, but they were just too dark for me. So I traded those for a lip liner in light nude and a lipstick in cashew. Um, and I will go ahead and swatch these for you. Since now they're mine, I didn't swatch anything in my last unboxing because I knew I was going to trade and it was rough. So here's the color of the external pencil, which just matches exactly the color of the pencil. Um, I am loving that. So what is this called again? Is this light nude? Light nude. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty light and nude. So I hope you can see that. Um, that is a great color for me. I, I really just wear so many bold eye looks these days that I wanted something that was pretty versatile. All right, the next thing is the Luxury Cream Lipstick. That retails for $14, by the way. The Luxury Cream Lipstick retails for $28. And this one I traded for in the color Cashew, much more up my speed. I think the one that I got was called Poppy, and it was just too dark for me. I still think this packaging is beautiful. Um, but here is the color of this, and it is so, so, so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, it's just such a beautiful nude. I'm so happy with this trade. So there you go. Let me, um, it does have a little bit of a peach undertone. I would say that's definitely true, whereas the lip liner is a bit more nude. Um, I'm not sure necessarily that they match or go together. Sorry, a bit more nude. It's a bit more beige undertoned or pink, uh, whereas lipstick's a bit more peach. But again, I've got liners that I can pair it with. I've got lipsticks I can wear that nude with. I, I'm really excited about that. So that was a good trade for me. All right, three more things. Uh, the next thing I traded for it was my first Viseart quad in the Petits Four. Is it Petits? Petits? Anyway, so in the um, in their smaller quad, this retails for twenty five dollars, and I got La Piece is the collection that I got. Ooh, I have to say the packaging. I almost dropped that. The packaging of this is so pretty. It is so beautiful. I really, really, really love it. For a little quad, it just it feels like such a luxe experience if you've never had one of these, and I have never had one of these. Um, but here is what that color story looks like. Ooh, look at how pretty that blue is on camera. So I am going to do a quick swatch for you guys. So if you remember, um, I got the Hindash Chromance, I believe is what it's called, uh, palette. And I just wasn't super excited about it just because I found myself, oh my gosh, these pop out so easily. Look at that, how magnetic that is. Just pop that back. This would be very easy to depot. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I'm going to put the silver this way. So there you go. Like, I think that blue is really smoky. Uh, it shears out nicely. I know the nude you can't really see, but I think the bronze is really pretty. The silver is gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that blue, she's subtle, but she's subtle in a pretty wearable way. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm kind of hoping that I love the formula and at the same time, I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to love the formula and that's going to be a new addiction because I could see like collecting these like all day long. All right, so the next thing that I got is this Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment in Stutter. So this retails for $32. I had not seen these before. had never seen these anywhere, actually. I had not even seen them mentioned. But it was the color that drew my attention. It's Stutter, and it looks like it's this pretty vibrant orange. And it's not a color that I have a lot of. So this is a multi-use pigment. You can use it on your cheeks or your eyes. But what I loved about this and what really drew me in was that it does have an applicator on it. The, the one complaint that I had about the Danessa Myricks pigments, besides the fact that they dried so quickly and they were so matte, is the fact that there was not an applicator. So I had to literally take a little bit on my finger or a little bit on my sponge or a little bit on my brush and it just made the overall application a bit more difficult. I love the fact that this has an applicator. So I'm going to see if I can squeeze some out so we can see this color. I haven't gotten to see this color. I'm excited. Definitely, definitely pigmented. But it seems like something that you can really sheer out. So 
I'm excited. I'm actually excited about that as a blush. Isn't that crazy? Um, like in the summertime, I don't know, like maybe I can pull it off. I don't know. I, some people really pull off an orange blush beautifully. I've never really tried, so I'm excited about that. But what I'm most excited is a lip color. I think that's going to be super fun. So it was just a color that I didn't have. Um, I'm excited about testing that pigment. I can see why this is in here because I think this is a color that a lot of people probably aren't picking up because it's risky. But that is also the thing that made me really want it. So I'm super excited about that. And then finally, the last thing that I picked up was the Charlotte, sorry, traded, was the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what is this called? The Darling Palette. <laughs> It retails for $57. I did not have this. Now, I will tell you, when I saw the color story, you guys know how much I love the Charlotte formula. I just, I, I genuinely don't think it's overrated. I think it's beautiful. I think there are some other high-end brands that are a bit overrated, in my opinion, that I don't want to cause controversy over. Um, but this formula just works for me so easily. So, I do not have Pillow Talk. All of my quads for her are more cool toned. I know this pink color story is kind of her signature look, but I did not have this color story. So I was genuinely curious about it. Now, having said all of that, I was nervous that it was going to be similar to a trio that was in my Smokey Eyes Are Forever palette. I am very happy to say there are no dupes. There is maybe one that can almost be a dupe, but it's not quite a dupe. So I'm just going to see if I can hold these two up next to each other so you can see what I mean. So there were a few colors. I swatched them all um, that looked like they could potentially dupe out, but they didn't. I know that section right there, you guys are like, that looks pretty similar, um, but it's not. This brown that's in the Smoky Eyes Are Forever, it's a lot redder than this brown. And let me just, I don't want to swatch everything crazy um, and waste your time. But here you can see on the finger. So this is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This is the new palette. So they are definitely different. Um, the other one that looked somewhat similar was this uh, pinky red bronzy shade. And they probably look the most similar, but you can probably already see that they definitely have different undertones. So I was worried that those two were gonna be similar, but in real life, they do have different undertones. I know they're pulling so similar on camera, but this one is darker and this one is pinker. So they are, they are actually different. There's nothing else that's really a dupe. Even the highlight shade, which is the golden highlight, I thought, well, that's gonna be pretty dupable, but even that is not a direct dupe because one is far more chunkier than the other. And one also has a pinkier undertone than the other. As you can see here, these two. So there's a pinkier one and a golder one. So honestly, like there are real no dupes there. So I am super excited to have that. Um, it's a formula that I know and love. I, I'm always happy to expand my ever-growing Charlotte Tilbury collection. And also, like I said, like it's it's really cute for travel as well. I've never tried her signature pink look. I have no idea what that's going to look like on me. I would never buy Pillow Talk or anything like that because it is too similar to this in my opinion. Um, but I'm excited to give that a whirl and see how that looks on me. So let me quickly wrap this up and give you guys my total value once I've traded, once I've paid for postage, all of that sort of stuff. So all of these items together add up to $212. Now, like I said, the turmeric mask is an extra $5. So if you want to go ahead and add that, that would be $217. So $212 to $217, depending on how you want to look at it since that was a bonus. Now I paid... I paid about $42 in postage. So once you subtract the 85 that I paid for the box, the $42 I paid in additional postage to do the trades, I still came out $90 ahead. So to put this in another way, I spent $127 total on the box and the additional postage, but the overall value is 212 to 217. So not too shabby, if I say so myself. I am really genuinely very pleased with everything I got. I can't wait to wear them, and this is why I love the lucky bag. I do love it because even if you open it and you get things that aren't perfect for you, you can find people out there to trade with and you can walk away with exactly what you want and still get amazing value. So that's it for me guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my trades. Are you guys trading? What are you trading for? I would love to know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!